August 14th, uh, we're going to be getting into setting up your notebook today, so the things you're going to need, well, one, the picture of you, I'm going to be officially taking here shortly, so you're going to need that, but if you're at home, you're just going to bring it in. But we're also yeah, setting up your notebook today, so you're going to definitely need this. If not, you're going to need to watch the video before you show up to school tomorrow, so I would not have to eat your soul. Uh, see, today's tie, you can't really see it there, but it's a past student named Gabby, and, huh. oh yeah. Targies and B points are fully active, and I get to start being mean today. Yeah. And I did this. We're good to go there. Good to go there. It's the speedy version, speedy version, speedy version. Ox Teller rule don't spend more than 15 points in a week. And bump. And there's your list of all the good kid things from there. Mean mode activated. I can try to line this up. Oh, I got it perfect on my end. Uh, then. Um, I have a calendar over here that will explain things to you, which you can kind of see in the little screen in this side over to there. Um, and that's where you're going to look to find out what's coming up due for the week and stuff like that. We were just finishing up me talking about nicknames with you guys. Um, and again, uh, I think I left off with... Twinkles. Twinkles. I know I was talking about Twinkles. I was talking a lot about Twinkles. Uh, so, oh, if I give you a nickname you don't like, make sure you tell me, because okay. if you wait a long time, it gets stuck in my head, and I can't get rid of it. If you don't like the nickname, you also don't ever get a new one, because huh? you have a nickname. You're just choosing not to use it. You have a name that your soul to told me. So if you go, I don't want to be Twinkles, that's fine. But then you'll forever go by your normal... Sorry, hiccup, stop it. Name. You also cannot tell me a nickname. You can't come up and be like, Mr. Brobiak, my friends call me Bubba, because that's weird. Uh, and so that's also not what your soul told me. So, I mean, you can tell me your nickname, and then I can just laugh at you, but that does not mean it's going to actually work that way. Beyond that, we'll just sort of see how the nicknames work as your souls begin to speak to me. Some of you are safe because you don't have a soul, uh -huh, but we'll see what we can do. All right. Home children. Uh, here's where even though we're only like two minutes into the video, I'm going to pause it for a moment because this part this doesn't really apply to you. It's going to be your picture thing when you bring it in. Uh, we're making a little name taggy thing for it that I'll be explaining. So when you come back to life, we'll walk you through this. So go ahead and blink, and when you open up your eyes again, we'll be past this. Woo! That was some good picture stuff. So now I have all their pictures. Now you guys are back. I know, it feels like you guys never left. Here is where your notebook comes in, and we're going to make a reference to this. Remember the yellow sheet? What was the point of the yellow sheet? So here's the part where we're going to find out how well we do with direction following to see whether or not I'm going to have to openly mock you for your inability to follow directions. This is where some of the fun begins. To help you out? I did bring in Sharpies. Yay. So on the Yay. outside of your notebook, here's my notebook, you are going to need to write your first and last name, but this is not done in pen or pencil, because it needs to be big, easy to read. So I want big, bright Sharpies of some kind, which I can toss to you. If you have your own, that's fine. If you have a black Sharpie, that's fine. You're going to want to write your first and last name, both my name and English. And I'll explain why in just a moment. Emma? Can we do different colors? That's fine. No problem with that. All right. If I don't really see too much. I don't think anyone has like a full black. Because like if you have one like Tyrion, like this one, you can write in this little middle area. But if you have like a completely black notebook, I have the silver Sharpies. If you need a Sharpie from me, I am more than happy to let you borrow one here in a moment. I'm just getting them out. I have a multitude of colors, and you can tell me which one you want. If someone gets the one you want, you just have to wait, and then you can get it from them, and we can go from there to help you out. All right. Adriano, which one did you want? Red. Which one? Hey, I think you missed. Ooh. Maya? I have another black if you want another black. That's what you're looking for. Or I have blues, purples, oranges. Blue. Justin. Well, you can borrow it when he's done. Noah. 
It's like a purple blue. It's like a blue. Emma? I know, that's why you, have, you won't have to worry about it tomorrow. We're going to solve this issue. I have a feeling some of the gnomes are coming. I hear. And then, Japhne, you wanted purple? I'm sorry, when we get down with the purple here in a moment, we'll, we'll hook you up with it. So, you make sure that you have your first and last name on it. Because if you leave this somewhere, this is how I get it back to you. No name on it, you're out of luck. Have my name on it, so on the off chance you leave it somewhere, they'll get it to me, and then I will get it to you. Which one do you want? Put English on there on the off chance when you're digging through your locker freaking out. This will make it easier for you to figure out which one it is. It's called a decision. Oh, uh, Good job. Uh, uh, Congratulations. Yep, you caught that like a turtle. Mm -hmm. I know, that was an insult to turtles. Now remember, if a kid asks a silly question and you help them, they're going to keep asking those questions. Have them ask me so that I can attack them, and that makes them a better person, and that's how learning comes in. Yes, you can. Hey. Oh. I didn't get that one. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were going to weight shame my marker. I'm just I told you that already. Oh, yeah. It wasn't a surprise. A long time ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, a long time ago, like yesterday. Yeah. No, that was, that was really two, days two days ago. Two days ago. That is a long time ago. I think you guys may have slept since then. All right. Home children, I, I apologize for our struggle now. Some of these kids are have some issues. But hopefully we can get there. All right. Jesse. Oh, yeah, I'm tossing it this way. Mm -hmm. Jackie, it's like another turtle. Alright. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. Are we good? Yeah. Are we good? I think we're good. Are we done with mine? No. There you go. Oh, it was in your eyes, Maya. No, I, I was thinking about it when you had it and you gave it to me. <laughs> Don't you wake shame my mother. I did to have a kid throw it at me. I had a kid almost throw it at me, but then he like dropped it on his floor instead. <laughs> like halfway through his brain, like, and it just like dropped. <sighs> All right. Then I'll put these away. I'm done. You are not dumb. Don't say that. <laughs> now, let's get to the big directions. That was easy. If we struggled on that part, it's only going to go downhill. Take your notebook, home children. This now applies to you also. Open it up so you are looking at the very first page. So the way it looks, this little thing here is like that middle part of your notebook. I do not like the first page, so we are going to cross that out. So you're just going to put a big X through that first page. If you're not sure how to spell it, write the word X-ray and stop after the first letter. And that will help you get there. It's not a me issue, Sean. My job is to educate. It's your job to learn. And yeah, so I don't use this first page because it ends up messing things up. So that's why we end up crossing it out so you guys don't get confused later. I did have a kid earlier who was like, Mr. Broviak, if you hate that page, why don't we rip it out? And I was like, oh, you're a genius. Rip that page out. And he's like, yeah, and he ripped that page out. And I go, what's there? And he goes, oh, a new page. And I go, rip that one out. <laughs> we got through 15 pages. Oh. <laughs> At some point, he was like, oh. I'm like, are you starting to see the problem? All right, here's where things get tougher. You are gonna, <laughs> tomorrow, you won't have to worry about it anymore. It's okay, he's nominated himself. Turn the page, and what we're gonna do is start setting up our table of contents. And there is a very specific way this works. I'm gonna be coming around to check you in a moment. 
If you can't see my table of contents, I will put it up there on the big screen. I can pop it up there, boom! So that way you can now see it a little bit better. I took a little picture of it. And that way, uh, fine. If you can't see it, I can focus it a little bit better. If I wiggle it just a bit, yep, there we go. It comes into focus. Uh, and it, I have a controller, don't get excited. It's a magic notebook. Don't start it quite yet, because here's the part where you're going to mess it up. I'm going to have to attack you. For some of you, this may be where you want to have a pencil as opposed to a pen, depending on how many mistakes you think you may make. So, this is our little split area down the middle. This is left page, this is right page. Do you see the fact that we have columns? There's a red line, which makes a column all the way over there. As Mike would say, that's our skinny column. You see this little pink one over here? This is our other skinny column. We're not going to weight shame the middle column, even though it's the fatty fat column. It's going to be right here in this middle spot. So here's how we write it. At the very top, you're going to write table of contents homework. Then, between red line and edge of paper, you're going to write the word date. Then, between, or right on the other side of that red line, you're going to write the word number. And then you go to the middle, and you're going to write title. Then you go all the way between the pink line and the fold, and you write page. And then you come over here to the right side, and you do the same thing again, except you write bell work instead of homework. And then I'm going to come around, and I'm going to come help you. Home children, um, if you're having trouble seeing it, you can pause it, because I'm going to pause the video so I can come around and help children who might be struggling, because there might be one or 12 of them. All right, so I'll start it again in just a moment. Welcome back. All right, so you now have first page with X. You have your table of contents. Turn the page, and you're going to do another table of contents. This one is for the first nine weeks. This one's going to be for the second nine weeks. So it's going to look the exact same. So if you struggle looking up here, in theory, you could go back and look at the other page as long as you follow directions there, and then it won't be a problem. You only have to put up with it for a few more minutes, and then Drake will never be near you again to bother you. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're the one who's kicking me. This is my I care face. Can't you tell? Yeah. Wait, you can't, because I don't care. Oh! oh. 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 I wasn't trying to be. All right. <sighs> We will finish out rest of notebook tomorrow. Bring notebook back tomorrow. We're going to get into our first homework, into our first bell work, finish setting a thing up. We're going to chance to get a chance to do some talking and bonding. Friday, we're going to begin our project where Maya finally gets her answers, and we'll see how well we've done from there. Looking forward to seeing how tomorrow goes for some of you.